Today, we're going to talk about some exciting changes available for the latest update for Grumman Multi-Sport Watch. This video is broken up into chapters which cover additions for your Phoenix 7 and similar products. You can view a complete list of the supported products for this release in the description. You will automatically receive the update if your watch is paired to the Garmin Connect application or if you've enabled Wi-Fi Sync. The first section we'll discuss is activity enhancements. We'll begin with the new indoor walk activity. Indoor walk will display a timer, heart rate, pace, and distance traveled. Your device will use the onboard sensors to predict the distance traveled since your watch will not be able to locate satellites indoors. The next activity enhancement we'll discuss is self-evaluation. In this update, self-evaluation is now available on additional activity types including rowing, hiking, and many more. You will need to enable self-evaluation in the activity settings. The self-evaluation allows you to elevate your perceived effort by rating how hard the workout was and how you felt. These subjective ratings are then uploaded to your Grumman Connect account as part of the activity. We're now gonna cover the new navigation enhancements that are available in this update. First, we'll discuss pin drop navigation available when paired with an Apple iPhone. This feature allows you to send points of interest, also known as POIs, from the Apple Maps app to our Garmin Connect app. Once the POI is available in the Garmin Connect app, you can then plan your navigation to the POI with your watch. The next activity enhancement we'll discuss is course points and turn points. While using the course navigation during trail activities such as gravel bike, mountain bike, trail running, or hiking, the turn point enhancements will provide a better turn-by-turn -turn guidance. This will more accurately place the instructions before intersections where you must make a decision. Note that longer courses will take additional time to calculate when selected. The next section we will discuss is the new smartphone-related features. First, we'll cover the new Garmin Messenger app on your watch. While the Messenger app is primarily used for in-reach satellite communication products, it has now expanded use cases allowing you to message from your watch without ever taking your smartphone out of your pack. The Garmin Messenger app on your watch will work in conjunction with the Garmin Messenger app on your compatible smartphone, working as an extension and allowing you to send and receive messages. The Messenger app on your compatible smartphone can also use cell services or Wi-Fi to send messages to your Garmin contacts. For help setting up the Messenger app, see our linked video. The last smartphone feature is Find My Phone During a GPS Activity. You will need to enable this feature in your watch settings. In a GPS activity, if your smartphone is mistakenly left behind and is disconnected for three minutes, your smartwatch will display a notification it has become disconnected. The following options will be available to you. View a map with the last location, map navigation back to the last location, or open the map reference point app for compass and distance information back to the last known point. The last new feature we'll cover is an additional glance and morning report card for recovery. While recovery can be viewed within the training status glance, it's now easier to view this important information as you exercise or train. Thanks for taking the time to learn about what's new in the latest software update for your Garmin Multi-Sport Watch. To learn more about your product, check out the links in the description or visit us at support.garmin.com.